So do you have any idea of where we are? Well, if I heard correctly, the robot lady says that we're in some place called Aperture Science. I agree, Henry. Wait, what did he say? He said it doesn't matter where we are, we need to go find that thing again so we can get out of here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I've been dealing with this for too many years now. How the hell do you keep knowing what the fuck he's saying? All he makes is a stupid little noise. Shut the fuck up, Henry. I can't understand a goddamn word you're saying. And throwing me with that knife isn't going to do anything. I have a fucking gun. Welcome, test subject. It's Cave. Prime. From Earth-1. I am speaking to you from across time and space. I am literally in the future. I... Hold on. What? All right, my assistant Greg tells me none of that's true. Got excited. You are the first test subject we have ever sent into a parallel universe, which apparently has nothing to do with time travel. Still exciting. Anyway, you should be seeing a test chamber in front of you. We designed it. Those backwater universe yokels built it, and you're going to test it. Remember... You gotta let us know if it works or not, otherwise you're wasting everybody's time on two Earths. Alright, get to it. Who the hell is Cave John? I have no idea. Anyway, let's go. Huh? What the hell is this thing? You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you... Please proceed to the chamber lock. A portal gun, huh? Well, this is pretty cool. I wonder where it came from, though. Oh well. Let's go. So, where are we meant to be now? Welcome to Test Chamber 4. As part of our required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. Please proceed to the chamber lock. How are we meant to get past that? I have an idea. Well, that seemed to have worked. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two... You know, I'm getting really sick of this robot chick. Just so you know, this mic isn't two-way. I can't hear a damn thing you're saying, so don't waste any oxygen trying to talk. Right. What? <laughs> ah, my assistant Greg says, some of these alternate Earths may not have oxygen. The air might be nitrogen or methane or, hell, everybody's head might be inside out. So just take little itty-bitty breaths, and if anybody asks you why your head's inside out, remember it's only inside out from their perspective. And you're fine, head-wise. Trouble-wise, you're in a lot of it, and you should probably run. All right, enough hypotheticals. Let's test this test. So, we're actually in another universe? That's correct. And if you want to find your thing, you need to go back to Earth-1. You again!